Hey everybody, welcome to Spiky Saturday number 98 on the Mana Leak. I'm John as always, 98, that is two away from 100. There uh, won't actually be a Spiky Saturday 100 in two weeks, because of course in two weeks I will be doing my 24-hour extra live stream on November 5th. Make sure that you check that out, twitch.tv slash the Mana Leak. Spiky Saturday 100 proper will be the week after that. Don't really have any special plans for it, but we'll see. Anyways, we're going to jump into a Kaladash Draft League and uh, see how we do. So I will see you guys for pack one pick one which is going to happen when we get four more people so i'll see you in a second well here we are pack one pick one we open up a metallurgic summonings if it was last week it would have been worth four tickets now it's back to being worth less than a single ticket uh it would be fun to give it a try but i just don't think it works out not being five mana uh in this pack we've got a thriving rhino which seems fine um I honestly don't like it from a design perspective because it's just ridiculously powerful for a common three drop. Uh, we've got a door buster, an outrider. Um, not much else going on here. Trumpeter, it's a thing. Um, you really have to build around it. I guess if there's a point that you take it, it's now, but I think it's safer to just take a rhino, to be honest. Uh, you know what? No, 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 no. Let's, let's give it a try. Let's have a little bit of fun. Let's go Fairgrounds Trumpeter. Don't know if that was the right pick or not. Uh, ooh, a Harnessed lighting, Lightning. Uh, another Thriving Rhino. Lost Legacy Foil. Probably still worth nothing. Let me check. Foils can sometimes surprise you online. Nope, only 30 cents. Uh, so we've got Harnessed Lightning, Impeccable Timing, a Thriving Rhino. Um, if we wanted to go deep on our pack one, pick one, not great Trumpeter, we take Rhino. I mean, Rhino is still just flat out in the conversation, but I think Harness Lightning is just so good. Two mana, it's, it's a Searing Spear, and it's got a lot more versatility than a Searing Spear, or a Lightning Strike. Uh, timing, Weapon Craft Enthusiast is also very nice. Um, <laughs> this is a bad double rare pack, Dubious Challenge and Lost Legacy. I think we'll go with the Harness Lightning, it's the, uh, the best card in the pack, I think. So, let's take it. Uh, what do we get here? We got a Wildest Dreams, which is fine. I don't super like it. Uh, underhanded Designs, I'm currently playing in my uh, store sealed league. It's all right. I'm not a huge fan of it. So Reckless Fire Weaver, yeah, Reckless Fire Weaver, Salivating Gremlins, Windrake. There's honestly not much here to be excited about. If I'm gonna be red, I don't super wanna be red green. That combination has not really excited me. Could take a Prophetic Prism. It's a really boring pick. Um, hmm. It might just be the pick, though. We're still kind of exploratory as to where we're going. Yeah, let's third pick a Prophetic Prism, just because I was really unsure about that pack. Well, here we go. We've got a Malphus Doorbuster, which I really like. Thriving Grubs is fine, but Doorbuster wins out. Dund Operative, uh, Kudrus, Kujar Seed Sculptor, Select for Inspection. This is actually a nice, like, pack four, or a, a pick four pack. Um, I think we'll take Doorbuster. Start moving on on red a little bit. Yeah, let's go red. Uh, what do we get here? We get a Dund Operative, Thriving Ibex. Hmm. <laughs> Ibex or operative, I think, is going to be the question here. So we could be black, red, aggro, or we could be white, red, aggro. Both nice and aggro. Ibex goes into the sort of energy plan that we're starting to build a little bit with our first uh, two red picks here. Uh, we don't yet really have any reason to push into artifacts with operative. And honestly, the artifact, the black decks always want artifacts and red's a little bit harder to get artifacts given that there's no fabricate so i think we will go with thriving ibex here make obsolete Ooh, a self-assembler i surprisingly like self-assembler i was down on it to start i think it's fine is it better than a spontaneous artist probably we do want to make sure we get a second one if we don't get a second one we're not playing the first one but if we get a second one we're playing both if we get three we're playing all three um, Ninth Bridge of Patrol, no. Neither of those puzzle knots. Cogworkers is probably the one I like the most, and that's not saying much. Fireforgers, I think, is just a ridiculous waste of mana. So yeah, let's take Self-Assembler. 
Uh, built to last, built to smash. Larger than life. This is the combat trick. Well, that's not a combat trick. This is a combat trick pack. Uh, spontaneous artist. Built to smash. Built to last. Um, I think we just take the artist here. First artist is fine. Don't want to load up too much on four drops, but... We can get combat tricks whenever. So yeah, let's take the artist. <laughs> Ether Flux Reservoir. Bastion Mastodon's fine. If we do end up going white. Um, we're not taking Disappearing Act. We're not taking Ceremonious Rejection or Dramatic Reversal or that. Or that. So yeah, I guess we're just taking the Mastodon. Yoink. Um, pressure Point. Sideboard Ruinous Gremlin. Inspired charge. I guess we take the sideboard gremlin. Dubious challenge came back, but so did Harold. Harold is the pick for sure here. Um, yeah, no real question there, I don't think. Fairgrounds trumpeter. Sorry, pack one, pick one. Although I really don't think we would have done much difference at all. Uh, if we had have taken, you know, the Thriving Rhino or the Pima Outrider, because green, as expected, has totally dried up because it's ridiculously overdrafted. Um, yeah, I, I think that's going to be one of the downsides of this format and one of the things that makes me just kind of not really think about doing it ever again once it goes away is the fact that green is a little bit overpowerful. Um just the commons are kind of ridiculous compared to the other colors' commons. Uh, we get a Wayward Giant here or a Built to Last. Uh, so combat trick or a creature that we probably will not play. Let's take the combat trick. Um, camel, Torch Gauntlet. Aradara Express. I'd prefer not to play any of these. Um most likely to side in would be the camel. Uh, let's take a torch gauntlet. We're not going to play it. Ninth Bridge Patrol. Hopefully we don't play it. Do not like Ninth Bridge at all. I know people have, you know, their store. Ooh, hello, Angel of Invention. Um, I mean, it's not really even a question here. Maybe we get another self-assembler back. We're not going to get Augmenter back, unfortunately, or the Artisan. There's nothing in red for us. There is a Sky Skiff, which is fine. We're just not not taking Angel of Invention. That's there's no way we're not. <laughs> um, maybe we get the Artisan back around. We are not gonna see that Augmenter again. Yeah, I guess we're hoping to get Artisan or Assembler back. I would take Sky Skiff if I had to. I'd prefer not to. Uh, Ether Hub against an Impeccable Timing, which is probably better. Uh, Fragmentize, Built to Smash, Inventor's Apprentice. I do not like... Ooh, whoa. Didn't even notice the Renegade Freighter here. Uh, yeah, we're taking Renegade Freighter. For sure. This is another card that I think is going to be kind of one of the cards that makes me not want to come back to the format. Because it's really, really, really pushed for a common. And if you get it, congrats. Your percentages go way up. And if you don't, that sucks. Your percentages go way down. Uh, yeah, we're going to take Renegade Freighter. That's not to say that I dislike this format. I, uh, I think ultimately, with my experience so far, I like the format. I wouldn't really seek it out. So it feels kind of like Theros in that regard. Not in that they're the same sort of format, but they're the same opinion that I have on them where they're fun, and I like them, but I would never search them out. We've got a Brazen Scourge, which I think is probably just better than the Impeccable Timing. We are going to want some removal at some point, but we if we can just be super aggressive, uh, I think that'll be what we need um acrobatic maneuver i'd like to get that back around and it could happen self-assembler if we don't get another one it's not long for this deck but we're taking a brazen scourge speedway fanatic is uh nice with the renegade freighter and there's nothing really else here i'd even consider inventor's goggles we have no artificers <laughs> and I don't really like them anyways. They're fine. They're they're fine like a, uh, a staff in Eldritch Moon was fine. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to take Speedway Fanatic here. 
Uh, Thriving Ibex, Cathartic Reunion. Could take the Sky Skiff here as our second vehicle. Sky Skiff's gone way down, in my opinion. I think as a two drop, you want a creature, you don't want a vehicle. Um, I still haven't played Reunion. I've seen more people starting to play it, and I've definitely seen it do some decent work. I'm still not at the point where I want to play it, though. Um, I think we'll just take the Sky Skiff here. Yeah, I'll take Sky Skiff. No more vehicles. Uh, Prophetic Prism. We have one, and we don't really have a splash yet. Ooh, Hunt a Week. I don't think we'd splash for a Hunt a Week. We'll see. Um, no Camel. No second Ibex. Uh, Puzzle Knot. I mean, it works with Angel, I suppose. I'm tempted to just take the Hunt a Week in case we splash for it. I'm going to take the Hunt a Week. We might splash for it. We might not. We'll see. Hopefully we do. Otherwise, we just wasted a little bit of a pick there. Um, Bastion Mastodon number two is not a card we're going to play. Sideboard Dromedary is not a card we're going to play. Sideboard Demolish. I guess we take the Mastodon. I guess Mastodon is just straight up better than Self Assembler number one. So, take the Mastodon. Uh, I guess we take the Cathartic Reunion. We're not going to take an off color puzzle knot, so yeah, let's take Cathartic. Cathartic. Ooh, there's Self Assembler number two. Bastion Mastodon number two, get out of there. Self Assembler number two, get in. Get in. I don't think that Hunt the Week will make it. I don't think we'll splash for it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, build to Smash. Well, we're not splashing for any of those. So we'll take Build to Smash. Um, Cathartic Reunion number two into the sideboard. Need more creatures. That's what we need. Accomplished Automaton. Not going to play you. Perpetual Timepiece. Not going to play you. Failed Inspection. Not going to play you. Island. Not going to play you either. All right, we can uh, we can polish up this deck here in pack three for sure. Just give me a red gear hook. That's all we want. I'd take a white one. I wouldn't be happy with a white one, but I'd take a white one. Ooh, I'll take a smuggler's copter though. Boy, will I ever. Um, welding sparks, nice. Uh, yeah, smuggler's copter over the sky skiff for sure. For sure. Maybe we can get back. No, we're not going to get back that Welding Sparks. <laughs> Smuggler Scopter, in you go. What's it worth online? 13 tickets. Draft paid for. Draft paid for. All right. Um, Built to Smash can get out of there. I've been in Red White a few times now, and I've always kind of wondered, built to smash or built to last? I'm not positive which one I want. Um, Self-assembler number three, uh, Propeller Pioneer. Um, those are the two choices, I think. Blooming Marsh is not worth anything, I assume. 1.15 tickets, not worth it. Um, I don't think we want Self-assembler number three. I think we'll just go with Propeller Pioneer. We can fabricate, and our angel makes the... Servo a 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, let's take Propeller. Ooh, Gear Shift Ace. Aviary Mechanic. Glint Sleeve, uh, Glint Sleeve Artisan. Self Assembler number 4. Um, I think we just take the Gear Shift Ace. Give this 5-4 Trample First Strike. Seems good. Seems very, very good. And it's a 2 drop, which is very nice. So, yeah, we'll take Gear Shift. Um, veteran Motorist. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Aerial Responder. This deck's coming together. Uh, well, not anymore. Not anymore. Guess we take the Hijack. And I guess that's card number 23. Well, actually, 22, because we're not going to play that Hunt the Week. So, Hijack in. Um, I guess we can take a Puzzle Knot. I don't super want to play it, but we can take it. Uh, we are not a start your engines deck. Uh, Sky Whirl, Sky Swirl Harrier is a card that we could play. 
Although I honestly don't know if I like it over the Puzzle Knot or not. I do like it over the Ninth Bridge Patrol, I think. We'll see. That's a lot of five drops. I'd prefer to get a three drop here. Uh, no such luck. No such luck. Let's take a refurbish, I guess. I don't think we'll play it. Hmm. I don't think we play that Sky Swirl Harrier. I think we play the Puzzle Knot instead. Puzzle Knot's not great, but it makes two twos with our Angel. Uh, we can help crew the Smuggler's Copter or the Freighter. Uh, let's take a Giant Spectacle. I don't mind the card, surprisingly. I think it's okay. Hey, hey, aviary mechanic. I will take that. I'll take that over the puzzle knot. I think. We'll have to take a look. Inspired charge, we're not going to play. Uh, Woodweaver's puzzle knot, we're not going to play. Hype train in the sideboard. Not touching it. And a planes. All right. So there's the deck. All right, so we are light on removal, and by light I mean we have a, a harness lighting, and that's it. <laughs> that is absolutely it. We win by just overwhelming our opponent. We could put in that hunt the week, because we oh we need removal. Um, I think we do. I think we splash for hunt the week, taking out maybe just the puzzle knot. I'm not the biggest fan of it. And it's only good with Angel. We have other two drops to crew. Um, yeah, I think we take out the Puzzle Knot. That's 24 cards. Um, I think we need the Hijack. Aviary Mechanic, what are you doing? You are getting us another scry. Getting us another plus one, plus one trigger. Getting us another fabricate, another fabricate. Another energy, another two energy, another two energy. And you're also just a two, two for two. Hmm. I think maybe Ninth Bridge Patrol is just the cut. I really don't like it. <laughs> I really, really don't like it. Um, yeah, Ninth Bridge, get out of there. All right, so that's going to be the deck. We're going to do probably like, I don't know, one forest? One forest with the prism? It's going to give me like three, right? Oh, no, just one. Eight, eight, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sounds right. Let's do that. I'll save that deck, and I will see you guys for round one, where uh, hopefully we can do some good stuff.